moving on, in the floor you'll notice there is a, uh, a drain. This is actually a bypass drain. Water that may get into the cockpit area will bypass the motor. As you're looking at the hole, I'm going to open up the engine compartment here. You see the hose actually exits the boat. And that hose exiting the boat is going to drain out into where you see your jet pumps. I can't do it right this second, but what's great is they've put that hose above the water line when you're sitting dead still, which is great because some of the problems we had before with the boats getting water in them was because that was below the water line and it was causing leakage to happen back at the point where it exited the boat. People were getting water in their boats and didn't know why, and that was probably the cause. All right. While you're looking at your motors here, this is the all new 1.8 liter motors, twin 180 horse. Uh, these motors are uh, all new for this year for the 2010 models. They've had them in production now since 2008. They were available on the SHO Cruiser and SHO model watercraft and then last year also in the FZS and FZR watercraft. Uh, these are non-supercharged so you don't have to worry about a supercharger. That was something that Yamaha put a lot of thought into and decided not to do that. Uh, they still put out plenty of horsepower. As a matter of fact, comparing them to other brands, I believe Yamaha is probably understating a bit. They put out quite a bit more power than what comparative models with more power uh, are stating. It, they, they actually accelerate just as hard as some of the higher horsepower models that you would see elsewhere. Uh, in this compartment, you have a panel right here that will come off. Once you pull that panel off, you can replace your spark plugs very easily on your own. Uh, there's a, a massive air filter over to the left here. You can replace that on your own. Oil changes are relatively simple now because your uh, oil filters are right up top. You notice they're to the right. And unlike the previous year model boats, these motors are not the dry sump system where you need to check your oil when the motors are hot. These you can actually check the oil when the motors are cool via a dipstick that actually goes in down low. If you see the dipstick there with the yellow handle, so it's a lot easier to do. A lot of people got confused with that before and didn't realize that they had plenty of oil and then added oil uh, when indeed it was already uh, full. So just as an understanding. You have electrical back in the rear here. I'm not a mechanic, but I, I do try to point that out at least to let folks know that the fuse panel is in the rear. Uh, the rest of that there, if you have further questions, you'll want to try to access or try to contact your dealers uh, and maybe even try to get a service manual. One more thing I did just notice here too, your air filter is located in a different location for the right motor. It's right here in the front.